I almost left uh, Las Vegas. It's another maybe 45 minutes. Behind me, you can see the Cafe Derby. It's Serbian, call it the grill place. I must visit before I leave. This place is uh, located uh, on the intersection of Flamingo and this is the Red uh, Rock Road. Uh, next corner is Jones, so really close to Strip and I suggest you come and visit it. There are outdoor tables and it's really pleasant even when it's hot. That's Serbian beer. It's called Jelen, which means deer. Deer. Good stuff. It's lager type. Uh, big bottle, bigger than American beer bottle. I'm still in Las Vegas, but on the way out. I stopped for the lunch. I have to give you another poker story. Yesterday, just before I was uh, getting ready to go to play a little bit at uh, Orleans, I got a message from uh, some guy who also has a poker log called something smiley face. I'll give you the link so you can check him out. He lives in a LA area and he contacted me earlier, came with wife for a few days in Las Vegas, so let's meet. I said I'm at the table in a poker room, so come by, you know. He stopped there later. We chat for a few minutes, you know, introduce uh, himself. Uh, he was with a buddy and uh, he said, the wife is waiting, uh, they're going for dinner. I said, uh, well, if you go to play, they're going to play at Venetian. Let me know when you hit the poker room, so I'll come by. It was a couple hours later, he said, we're in a poker room. The moment when I actually met him, at that moment, I was down about $100. I played for another two hours and I'm still down $100. So I said, I cannot leave here negative session. So I keep playing and playing. So he messaged me about seven. It was finally about after nine o'clock. I'm still down $100. The game with that old people at the Orleans, that's impossible. You cannot make it. Cannot get one decent pot to get my money back. Finally, 9.15, I said, okay, this is enough. I, I took a loss, $125. It's not a big deal. Called Uber got at the Venetian and met this guy, Chuck. He also introduced me to Jeff, and I forgot what's the other guy's name, but uh, Jeff also has a poker log. The other younger guy, he's uh, also from LA, Think Blue Poker. He's like some LA Dodgers uh, fanatic or something. So four of us, YouTube vloggers like it, we are big shots. We chat for a few minutes, then we left to our tables. That's not the story. Story is this. When I got to Venetian, I put my name on the list and I was like eight of the, on the list. Met Chuck, we went outside to find Jeff and all that took like maybe five minutes. We went back, I look on the list, my name is missing. So I go to a girl and I know her from before. I said, uh, honey, hey, uh, where's my name? She said, I was calling you a few times. I said, come on. Well, okay, we were outside, didn't hear. So she put me back on a list on the top. So I'm still chatting with uh, Chuck and uh, she calls me. Okay, you have a seat at uh, table 34. So I go to table 34, I sit down, got chips and get the uh, first hand. I looked at it, yummy, pocket. Kings, the cowboys. Well, let's make some money here. If I was uh, under the gun plus one, I raised 10. I got like three callers, but is $40. We see the flop. King, eight, four, two diamonds. I check kind of trapping them, giving them a chance to catch the flush. They uh, check. Turn is ace, black ace. I check, I said, now they're gonna bet, they have A's, there's three of them, one of them has A's. No, all three of them check. Come on, guys, what, what cards are you playing? What's going on? The river, Ace of Diamonds. Bingo, 
So if the second guy was trapping the other two guys with the ace, or one of them has a flush their mind, first to act, $10. Next guy called, the other two fold. So he doesn't have ace or a flush. I show my cards. I even don't know what he had, it's irrelevant. The dealer yells, high hand. At the Venetian, they have a promotion, high hand. Every 30 minutes, the best hand gets $600. And they put my hand on a monitor as a high hand, current high hand, and any quads or maybe full aces can beat me. But promotion is for 30 minutes, and this is 29th minute, so hardly that anybody can beat me. Manager comes like minute after, sir, you got lucky, I said. Bingo, he brings 600, I cash out and leave, adios. Think about it. I suffered for six hours with old people at uh, Orleans. I came to Venetian, put my name on the list. I missed when they called me. What if I didn't miss and they put me on table eight? I wouldn't get that bonus. I already had a, a video talking about this. Same thing at Venetian. How many things have to happen in order for that lucky chance? for that lucky moment that I could miss if they called my name and I heard it. Amazing what the luck is. Well, in the meantime, the waiter came and brought my food. When you come here to Cafe Derby, what you gonna order? This is uh, Cevapi. It's Serbian, uh, like hamburger meat, but it's shaped like little sausages. It comes with some cream and Shopska salad. It's cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, and feta cheese on the top. It's a must. Forget your American hamburgers. Now I'm gonna stop filming. I don't want you to watch me choking on this. A little longer than a few minutes later. Those empty plates tell you about the uh, quality and how much I like this dish. Stop by and try it. Still order. Cevapi and Shopka Salata. And it's affordable, really cheap, 10 bucks. Now, I don't want uh, anybody to understand me wrong, but last night I invited Chuck, even Jeff, but he said he's working. Let's go to this place for lunch. And uh, Chuck said, fine. Well, today I got a text from him. Uh, they want to play slots and then go to pool. I understand people have their vacation. They don't want to bo be bothered by me. Why are you Americans so not social? It really bugs me. I would be excited. I go to some strange new town and somebody invites me to sit and chat, talk. Those guys I met last night, really good, nice guys. And I think I'm a nice guy. It's all right, some other time. So now I'm gonna hit the road and uh, see you in uh, West Vendover, Peppermill Casino. <laughs> Three hours later. So if you're wondering uh, what is this about, it's about me being stuck on this parking lot for the last three hours. Yeah. Continue for half a mile. It's a big noise from the wind, uh, so I have to stop to tell you my top five before I forget. So here's my uh, top five music genres. When I'm driving, especially on uh, long distances, music must be there. When I'm in a poker room also, you can see me with the headphones and listening uh, my music. If I'm in a desert, Bluetooth speaker must be there by me. I'm infected with music. It's not normal how much I need it. So what do I listen? I have to tell you this, none of this modern stuff, okay, I'm old guy, but it's not about that. Also, no rock music since 1971. The last rock stuff I listened was Led Zeppelin 1 and 2. And you're gonna understand why when I tell you that my Number one music genre is blues. Led Zeppelin albums were the pure blues almost. 
Number two genre I listen is jazz. Jazz is next step about the blues with uh, more sophisticated, more chords because blues is based on three chords. You get three chords and just one scale, 12 bar blues, you're good for, for the show. Jazz is in improvisation and uh, requires little more skill. Than My jazz favorites start from uh, Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, the magician on trumpet, John Coltrane. Do you know that when John Coltrane recorded my favorite things, the music chain? I'm gonna repeat that so you can think about it. When John Coltrane recorded my favorite things, the music chain. Well, Google it and find out what does that mean. I also like uh, jazz singers like Billie Holiday. I can listen to Billie all day long. Ella Fitzgerald and the rest. Number three genre that I listen, and again, I can listen to it all day long. It's uh, jazz bossa nova or samba jazz, depends how you call it. Sometimes in the 60s, Stan Getz, alto sax player, he heard some Brazilian musicians and he got infected. Well, he got two albums with Joao Gilberto and you know the standards like uh, girl from Ipanema. By the end of 60s, absolutely every jazz musician has to record Bossa Nova album. That was like a disease, like a virus. Bossa Nova virus from Brazil. Genre number four is gypsy jazz or gypsy swing, depends how you call it. And it's based on music created in 30s by Django Reinhardt, the gypsy, gypsy from uh, Belgium that lived in France. When he was a kid, he started playing banjo, like he was five years old, he was playing banjo and earning money. Later, he picked up a guitar, started playing in different bands, and Django had an accident at work. And these two fingers on his left hand were injured and completely broken, he couldn't move them. So he couldn't use, he couldn't use them to play. So he played the guitar only with two fingers on uh, pressing frets with left hand, only these two fingers. That created for him a speed and a sound specific just for him. Today, there are people like uh, Jimmy Rosenberg. I mean, you just have to hear him. I mean, he's a speed demon. Also many other from France, like one of my favorites, Chavalo Smith and his uh, uh, cousin Dorado Schmidt. Every year in France, about July 1st, somewhere there, first weekend in July, there's a Django festival near Paris where, where he lived and where he was buried. And I still didn't visit it. Maybe next year when I go to Europe. Gypsy jazz is becoming popular again. And in the last couple of decades, you, you could find uh, bands in almost every city. You can recognize it that it's a gypsy jazz band by their name. They're usually called the Hot Club of San Francisco the hot club of Houston, the hot club of Belgrade, Serbia. That comes from the band where uh, Django played. The place where they played in Paris was called the hot club. So by that, they became the hot club of France. And uh, Django played guitar, he was main solo. His uh, brother, Joseph, played the rhythm guitar. Uh, Stefan Grappelli, the great violinist, later became a legend as a jazz violinist. At number five, I have to put a collection of music that can we call world. World music can include everything. Africa, you know, Asia, South America. I'm just gonna mention you a couple artists that I listen. Fela Kuti, Afrobeat King from Nigeria. Cesaria Evora from Cape Verde. Bonga from uh, Angola, Parnograst, Hungarian gypsy, gypsy band. I can go on and on, but that's category for itself. So now it's uh, dark. I'm, uh, I made it to Mesquite, which is north of Las Vegas on the way to Utah, just before the border, across the border. First thing is San George. I'm gonna stay here tonight. There's a casino, Casablanca, where I'm staying, but uh, they don't have poker room. There was poker room in the other casino, but uh, it's closed now. So good luck at the Feld Boys and I see you later down the road.